the great-granddaughter of the husband and wife who built Christ for the Nation's Religious Institute in Dallas decades ago, enters the Israel Defense Forces, the military arm of Israel's national security. And Fox 4 Sean Rabb joins us live outside of Christ for the Nations in Oak Cliff. Sean. And good evening to you, Clarice. Let me tell you, her name is Elite Ferguson. She's 18, Jewish, born in Israel, but the roots to her family tree deep right here in Dallas and Christ for the Nations. I spoke with her and her mother today from Jerusalem. It's something that, as an Israeli, we grow up knowing that when we're 18, we're going to go in the army. We start the process around 16 years old. Elite Ferguson and her mother Shani are Israeli-born citizens with family ties to Dallas. My grandparents actually uh, founded a Bible school in Dallas called Christ for the Nations. And my husband was born in Dallas. Christ for the Nations Religious School started in Dallas in the 1970s. Students come here from around the world. Shani and her husband, Kobe Ferguson, who was born in Dallas, moved to Israel more than 25 years ago. Their daughter, born there, now 18, enters three years military service required of all Israelis. Other family members are still involved with the Dallas school's operation. They're very excited for me, um, but they also, they're also nervous for me because they know the, every, all the situations that have been happening. I'm going into the Air Force, into a combat unit there. And um, so first I have my training period, um, which has been shortened because of the war. Israel and Hamas at war since October 7th. But in a truce for now, while hostage releases continue. Shani and her husband run Ma'az Israel, a nonprofit helping all people in the region. And if you look at our uh, projects that we've done even before the war, we've been very active in, in helping really anyone who's living here. Elite sings worship music, a passion she says she discovered during COVID. After things started opening up again, um, like after the quarantine, then I got a lot of amazing opportunities to lead worship in other countries. And it's just been an incredible experience, which I'm so thankful for. Now, a different experience. I have my faith, um, which is very important to me and which holds me up in a lot of things and um, gives me hope and gives me strength. So even as she enters uh, service, she and her mother and millions others around the world praying the hostilities will soon come to an end and there will be peace in the Middle East. Sean, Sean Rabb reporting live. Thank you.